is going on everybody this is your boy circle city gamer here once again on youtube and welcome back to episode four of this harry potter road to the show series and in this episode the montgomery biscuits led by mr potter himself are going to be taking on the jackson sons after a very strong series against the tennessee smokies they return home to montgomery to face the sons it's going to be a very interesting series for Mr. Potter himself as after the Suns they play Chattanooga and then Birmingham. But remember, this was taken from my Twitch channel. I am on the road to affiliate. I'm trying to make it before the end of the year. Go ahead and follow me there on twitch.tv slash circlecitygamer01. Until that time, guys, enjoy episode four of Harry Potter Road to the Show. So once again, playing a new team series as we continue our grind against the Jackson Suns last four games we're hitting 619 at 13 for 21 still the designated hitter First hit is a line drive base hit for a double. Extends our hit streak and extends our extra base hit streak. Michael Sanchez now up for us. That one is hit well to the right fielder. And that will get out of here. Good job by Sanchez, who was hitting 083 coming into the game. So, double long ball gives us the 2 0 lead here now in the bottom of the third with two outs. Potter steps back up to base, and he will get another base hit. So, double single so far for. The youngster out of England. Manager wants us to try to steal a base here. Let's see what we can't do for that. And we get an okay jump, I believe. And we get the steal. Apparently it was a great jump. I thought I was a little bit late on the leg kick. But we are now in... Scoring position. Grounder to the third baseman. Bobbled and everybody's safe. So Chan Sanchez goes long ball sink. Or long ball probably E5. Leaving the door open for Brett. And Brett lines to the third baseman to be... And actually, no, it was uh, for the gentleman behind me is a home run, home run single. They ruled it a single, not an error. Runner on second, nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Biscuits lead 2-1 to one here, 0-1 oh, count. And Potter hits it to left center field once again. This is going to get down and bounce off the wall. Four extra bases. Easy stand-up double. His second of the game drives in the run and extends his RBI streak as well. Potter, three for three. Michael Sanchez here has a double or has a homer and a single to his credit. And he will ground out to the first baseman. Potter moves to third on the play. 90 feet away now is Potter from scoring his second run of the ball game. And the Biscuits once again in promising position here. Runner on third, one out, full count. Bottom of the fifth inning. Pop up. Center field. Gonna be caught. Potter's gonna try to tag. And he will be safe. So the sack fly for the Biscuits. Makes it 4-1 to one now. Bottom of the sixth. Two on. Two out runners on the corners. 
Potter looking to extend this lead even more. Sidearm does not confuse Potter. He gets a lot of it, but right to the left fielder. Two in the inning. And that will do it. As the Biscuits will get the win. Potter goes three for four with two runs scored, no homers, one RBI, and one stolen base. So he will be your player of the game. Guys, let's go ahead and jump into the next game here. The show's continuing coverage of minor league baseball is on the air. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Jacksonville Suns and the Montgomery Biscuits. Are we finally going to be in a position or are we still DHing? We're still DHing. 53 RBIs on the young season, 20 home runs for Potter. That one's hit to right center field, going to get all the way to the wall. And Potter's going to try to stretch it to a triple, and he will be in there safely. So, already in scoring position. 3-1 count now on Logan Morrison, who's hitting 3-27 on the young season. Again, the Suns lead 2-0 over Montgomery. Potter on third with one out here to Morrison. The pitch. And that's going to be a base hit for Morrison. And Potter scores the run, making it 2-1 to one in favor of the Suns on this rainy afternoon. Biscuits lead 3-2 now here bottom of the second one on two out. That one's shot straight up the middle. Both the pitcher and the umpire had to duck out of the way. So Potter goes two for two here to start this ball game. And Morrison once again looking for another RBI chance here. Two on two out, 0-2 oh count. For the vet who lofts it into the air right field, not able, the right fielder is not able to get it. One run scores, Potter's being raved around, and he will score. He goes first, first to home on that play, and makes it 5-3. to three. Still 5-3 here, bottom of the fourth. Nobody on here for Potter. Two out. Opening pitch is hit well. Left field. Left fielder giving chase. And he will be a couple steps in from the wall to make the catch. And the biscuits don't go down in order. Six to three is now our score in the bottom of the six runners on first and second with two outs here. Potter, two for three on the day. And really just a couple inches shy of going three for three with only needing a homer. All right, only needing a double. Instead, he will hit a homer on this at bat. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, Potter is only a double shy of going to this, of hitting for the cycle for the second time in this young season. He'll get the chance here. Bottom of the seventh. Runners on first and second. Two outs. Montgomery leads this one 11 to 3. Again, Potter just needs the double for the cycle. That has a shot right to the left fielder. So Potter lines out to the left fielder. And that will do it here from Montgomery, Alabama. Harry Potter goes five or three for five with three runs scored, a triple home run, and a single. Only the double shy of the cycle. 
So, once again, good batting there for Potter. So that just about does it for EK, Psycho, and the crew on Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the show Let's go ahead and make us a 64 overall. They come out on top, 11 to 3. And again, we'll play Jacksonville here. Home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show is on the air. Jacksonville leads 1-0 here, bottom of the second. We're on one on, two outs for Potter. And we know it's just April, so the season is just getting started, but obviously he's off to a great start. This one's hit well into the gap. Should be two. Will be two. Runner's trying to score from first on the play, and he will be gunned out at the plate. So double for Potter, no run score. Bottom of the fourth now, Montgomery leads two to one. Runner on first one out. That one's hit again. Well, left center, all the way to the wall once again. And Potter two for two, with two doubles. This time the runner is safe at the plate. Making it three to one in favor of the biscuits. This one is hit well. The first baseman has the catch. Jose Calderon. Full count, two outs. Potter is on the move, and. He will attempt to score and will score off of that easy. And Calderon's trying to score or go third, and he will. So Calderon with his second double or triple. Potter two for two here, bottom of the sixth. Both his hits have been doubles. Montgomery leads five to two. One out, nobody on. First pitch just late on the swing. He'll one, and Potter laces it into left field for a single. So he's held to a single, but three for three on the ball game. And since Potter is on first. It is motion time here for Potter. And he's going on the full count. Strike three called. Throw is not in time, so they'll only get the strikeout. Jose Calderon. Three or two triples on the game. He's two for three. This one is hit well. And Potter again is going to score off this. Let's see if Calderon tries to go three. He will not. So he's held to a double. Again, Potter. Nine to two wouldn't fair with the biscuits. Now two on. Nobody out here. Bottom of the seventh. Potter three for three on the day. With two doubles and a single to his name. And that one is a moon shot long gone. Homer dead center field. So once again, three run shot. Thins Potter's home run total to 22 on the young season. Seven the 
12 to 7 is the final. Cotter goes 4 for 4, only being a triple shy of the cycle once again. Let's go ahead and play the next game. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vasquez. Let's go ahead and advance to the next day. It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop. And again, Potter gonna step in here, bottom of the first, 667. Batting average here. That one's a extra base hit as that goes all the way to the wall. Runner scores from first. True Potter trying to get his triple out of the way early, and he will get it. 19 game hit streak for Harry Potter to start this season. And for the young man from England that did not know really how to play the game, he's been. That one squirts through for a base hit. Potter comes around to score. It's 2 0 biscuits early here in the first. Potter will now step up here. Up two to one, bottom of the third, two out, one on. First pitch is hit well to just left of center, and this will get out of here. So the hardest two, the home run in the triple, ticked off the boxes here in the first two at bats for Potter. And it extends the lead to four to one in favor of the breakfast biscuits. Jacksonville, however, is able to put up a four spot lead five to four here. Bottom of the fifth. Nope. Nobody out. Two on. Runners on first and second. The O pitches, and that one's hooked to left field, and this will get out of here. The Biscuits lead once again. Potter homers for its second time tonight. Extends, or gives the Biscuits the lead back. 434 feet. Bottom of the seventh now, Jacksonville trails 8-7. to seven. Nobody on, nobody out here for Potter. And this one will be caught by the left fielder. So side armors seems to be the only kryptonite for this young man. Tied at eight, bottom nine. Potter can be the hero here. First pitch fouled straight back. Oh, one pitch now here. One out, bottom nine. Potter grounds it to the shortstop, plants his feet, throw is in time. Just barely in time now. Potter has two home runs and a triple. Still tied at eight here, bottom 11. Two out. First pitch just tapped right in front of the mound. Foul is the call from the home plate umpire. 0 1 count now. Grounded once again to the shortstop. And throws in better time that time to end the inning. We'll go to the 12th. Now bottom 14 still score still dead locked at 8. One on, nobody out here. The pitch. And we can all go home as Potter is homeward for the third time. Walk off in the 14th. That's a way to walk it off, young man. This ball game is finally come to an end. 10 to 8, the final in 14 as Potter 
Throw your helmet, young man. You deserve it. Three home run performance. Nothing better than that walk-off blast. Four for seven on the day is Potter. And that's really saying something since he went back-to-back -back ground outs to the shortstop before that at bat. So let's go ahead and go to the last game of this series. Again, well, let, let's just see where Potter will be hitting here. The Montgomery Biscuits looking to extend this. A little bit further. Jacksonville. He's a catalyst for this offense when his bat is hot. 14 for 20 with five home runs is Potter. Bottom of the first here, one out, runners on first and second. Let's see what he does here after a three home run night the previous evening. He'll start this one with a high drive to left center field. And it will get out of here. Three run shot for Potter. Continues his dominance against the sun. Three hundred and ninety one feet. That one was close. Montgomery still leads three nothing here at the bottom of the second. Runners on first and second with two outs now. For the young eighteen year old out of England. This one's hit down the left field line. Gonna score at least one and will hold with a double. Once again, 4 nothing. now the score for the Biscuits against the Suns. A one pitch. Drilled to the shortstop, going to be in time for the out. Potter now steps to the plate, has a home run and a double to his name. The Biscuits lead 4 nothing here, bottom of the fifth. First pitch is swung on late, 0-1-1 the count now. Here's the 0-1, that one's hit to the left center field. Gonna get down, gonna get all the way to the wall and takes a weird hop. Potter trying to get dig for three. He will be safe. He is only a single away from the cycle. He has the hardest part out of the way with that triple. He hit the home run in his previous at bat. And now Really, that's going to score Potter from third. Extends the lead to five to nothing for the Biscuits. Eight nothing now. Runner on second. Two outs. Bottom of the sixth. First delivery, and there it is! There's the cycle for Potter! Runner's going to score from third. That doesn't matter as the cycle has been completed for the second time in his young career. Wow. 
twice in one season. Potter has hit for the cycle. And he's not content with just staying at first. He's going to try to steal second. There's strike three called, and that's going to end the inning, however. So Potter already had the cycle, and that's going to end this ball game. Nine to three is the final score. Montgomery improves. And a good offensive performance here. 